How proud are you, Adrian? You're proud of a lot of things, but how proud are you of your moustache? <laughs> so proud, tremendously proud. Couldn't be more proud. Greatest moustache that's ever walked the earth. Um, I'm surprised that I've been able to grow one, is the first thing. I've mentioned before, in 40 odd years, I've never really attempted to grow any facial hair, so. Definitely proud, Ger. Massive success. And I know I was only put fourth. Was it fourth on Tommy's um, fake news power rankings on uh, Friday? But we all know that mine is the best. Uh, Owen's been banging on about his all week, so I'm not going to ask him again. Kieran Colopy, good morning to you. How are you, sir? Good morning, Craig. How's things? All good? Yeah, good. So, look, before we get into... Some fantastic, some fantastic moustaches. You did well the past month. Ah, oh, that's nice of you to say. I mean, uh, yeah, there's, there's a picture of Owen from the start, and... Uh, Look what he is now. Ah, that's class. Yeah. That, Shane Hammonds is class. Are you going to miss him? Uh, well, I mean, well, let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see what's about, what's about to happen here. Uh, so that's mine, which I hadn't actually done the rest of the shaving around, so you can't really see. Also, salt and pepper on this doesn't really work so well. Uh, that's a bit yeah. filthy from um, Kieran Bradley, but very good as well. Uh, Kieran, before I get into this, right, but today is obviously the 1st of December. You guys are, you're a, a barber at uh, Studio 147. Uh, you're opening again. 145, yeah. 145, you're, you're opening again today. Yeah, yeah, open up at 10 a.m. this morning. So I'm going to lay it up after this and open up and get through, yeah, a lot of haircuts this week. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And are you booked? It's been a quick six weeks, though. Are you booked solid or if anybody wants booked to book? Booked solid, yeah. It's got a, yeah, 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 booked out till late next week, I think it is at this stage. So I'm looking forward to it, yeah. So And a bit nervous? Is it like a pre a reopening? Uh, few pre, few pre match nerves there, yeah. But you know, they'll they will they will be banished within a few a few minutes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I I obviously missed the start of this where everybody um shaved down and I, I I'm given to believe that some of my colleagues may have cheated on this and actually grown a full beard and then just shaved into what was going on. So uh that's definitely not allowed. No. That's, that's, no. that's a, just to no. call, just to like to call out the person who you're uh, accusing of this, Jerry. It, it was Shane Hannon who did this, wasn't it? I mean, I don't know. G-Mac. G-Mac. Yeah. Where is he? <laughs> you fire him. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good question. He, he um, yeah, if you, if you watch back the tape, uh, this is all, this is all happening uh, live on camera. He didn't shave off his moustache at the time, and you, you commented on it there, Ger. It's class. Of course it's a class moustache. He's been growing it since the start of the year. That is the problem with it. So I think <laughs> uh, all the goodness of Movember has been taken away by Graham McDowell's sickening behaviour. Well, I, I've got to tell yeah. everybody, it's obviously for a really great cause. So uh, every, anybody who picked up your Gillette Movember kit in-store at Tesco has obviously been uh, contributing to the various charities. Um, that help for men's health. Movember.com forward slash Gillette. It's not too late to get involved. Obviously, you can do this all year round. So donation was made to charity for each purchase made. And you can go to Movember.com forward slash Gillette for that one uh, to get any details on that. Um, Adrian, what's it been like? Uh, how, how have your family taken to the fact that you're a changed and different and more mature and sophisticated man than you've ever been, especially given that you're a culture from Westmeath? I think they're taking it a bit more like uh, it's been dropped into various WhatsApp groups of people that obviously are, everybody likes to have a bit of a pop jar. I'm sure you're acutely aware of this yourself. And uh, I don't know, is it a bit like, um, you know, the way Roy Keane sort of grows his facial hair? We've all been feeling a bit under the weather in terms of our mental health, obviously, which is, as you say, a big part of the reason that we're doing this. Um, like, you know, he grows his facial hair, he's not feeling that great. I think maybe that's a similar thing for me, but now that lockdown is over, it's coming off, baby, and um, the clouds are lifting. Uh Okay, Karen. I just want generally like the amount of good quality moustaches that you would see, and Absolutely, I'm not talking about yeah. the uh, things have changed, right? Men have got better at understanding how to do this as opposed to, you know, back in the day where it was just kind of like um, a bit limp and and lying there. Sorry, I just lost the connection there. <laughs> that was probably for well, the best. Have have we men got better at growing moustaches is essentially the short way of asking my long-winded question. Have have they got better at growing moustaches? I think they've got they've always been able to grow them. I think they've just got better at owning it, you know, just just like it's it's more of a, it can be more stylish now these days, lads. You, you see younger lads going around with moustaches. It looks quite cool. It's kinda of up there with like the mullet is making a comeback as well. So mullets and moustaches, it's like fashion comes full circle. And now you have mullets and moustaches in twenty twenty. And are, pretty cool. Are mullets easy enough to cut? I mean, obviously, nothing's that easy to cut. If you screw it up, um, it's a bit of a disaster. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, I love cutting mullets. Um, it's one of my favourite hairstyles to cut. 
Um, but you know, it's not it's not as easy to pull it off. Easy to cut, not as easy to pull it off. <laughs> Adrian, I challenge you yeah. to a mullet. <laughs> oh, no chance. I was actually just wondering, Kieran, as you were talking there, if like, is there a type of person in Ireland who grows a mullet? It's yeah, like it's it's cool now. Like it's it's like you know, it's kind of it's kind of hip to have a mullet now. Um, mm. It's but, not like Shane, Shane Byrne it's, anymore. People are people a bit more hip, like. That's a different style. That's a different beast altogether. That was a. Does he still have it? Yeah, that's Buffon. Yeah, he does. That's, yeah. that's not actually a mullet. That was that was mischaracterized. <laughs> that set the cause of mullets back a decade because that wasn't really a mullet at all. That was just long hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that was a mullet. That's it. That's a mullet. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, there's no I'm going a mullet. No chance. It, 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 he had long hair at the front. It wasn't. It, you you got to be. It's party. It was back. slick, slick back at the sides, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Slick. It was. It was styled into a mullet. Definitely. Okay. Maybe. From what I can recall, I haven't seen it in a while. I, I think he probably knows better than you, Jer, in fairness. No, no. Fighting a losing fight here. Fair enough. Fair enough. enough. Okay, okay. I'll. I'll, 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 I'll I'll, I'll bow down before uh, Kieran Colopy, our expert here. Uh, right, so what's going to happen is um, I'm obviously in studio and covered in, in uh, top quality expensive gear here that I'm uh, pulling the tops off. So I can't shave actually physically here. But the two lads are, have kindly volunteered to uh, do the ceremonial denuding. Are you, are you anxious, yeah. Adrian, about this? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I, you know, I was saying about taking it off. There is actually there is a part of me that is has become a little bit partial to my friend here, and um, my little friend. Yeah, that I'm not sure. Like it, it gives you. Like I definitely find that like people, you get more looks. You get a lot of um, like you know the sort of the mo bros. Is that the expression? Whatever the people talk about, and you definitely find that a lot of people are going, "Oh, you're doing you're doing November as well," and it's a bit of a conversation starter. And you do get you do get looks. I don't know if you lads have found that, but you get a lot of looks. No, thank you. So you're just having conversations with people randomly. Like your, yeah, you're using yeah. this to, to to ease your loneliness. Hey, look, if that's what it, if that's what it took, I mean, any port in a storm. As that's we the say. point. Is that not the whole point? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you're using the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide, uh, sensitive yeah. shaving foam as well. Yeah. Yeah. That is the one. Yeah, very good. Um, you're you're not shaving, Kieran, are you? Uh, no, I actually didn't grow a mo from November. I actually, I moved from November. I ran 80 kilometers uh, through, um, through November. To, uh, not all in one go, just through the month. Very um, good. To... Raised a few quid for that as well. And that's. Um... I don't have the confidence. I don't, I don't know if I have the confidence to pull off a mustache. Like the lads. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. I think the message out of 2020 has to be if we can do it, anybody can do it. That's true. Uh, Adrian, you're a little bit slow there. You're supposed to be uh, lathering up for us. Oh, is that it? Am I, what about this, Kieran? Can I use this, or what's the? You can, you can use that. Oh. You can use that to get off a bit, get a bit of the heaviness off. But that's, the, um, that's, that's fantastic. The, the razor will do most of the hard work for you. For our uh, radio listeners, there, Owen's uh, streaked into the lead. He's like um, three, four to a point up at half time. He's got it's the whole a, thing done. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. just a race. Well, no, no. We just want <laughs> we want we want good quality, Kieran. Um, I, one thing I have found is that I probably been about 25 years, 20 years since I would have um, shaved with any regularity that uh, the gear and the equipment has moved on to the point where it doesn't rip skin off you anymore, which is, it was a, a very welcome <laughs> uh, new part of my uh, life. So I wanna, I'm happy to um, pay testimony. The, the uh, sensitive shaving foam really worked because normally if I, was, uh, if I was here, there'd be, I'd still be bleeding. Um, things have definitely improved. Well, 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 well that's it. The, 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 the... The basis of every good shave, I find, every good shave is a close shave and a comfortable shave. So what you want to do is start off, the, the, for best results, is to, to shave straight after you're out of the shower or after you've put a hot towel on. You don't necessarily have to do that every single time. A lot of people mightn't have that time to do it, but like a gentle exfoliation before you shave, set yourself up nicely for, for a comfortable shave, especially with the uh, the the... the the pro glide here you've got the five five blades as well you've got the the flex ball on it which moves with the contours of your face as well so it just makes everything a lot easier than it would have been um with like or closer and more comfortable than it would have been with like a single yeah razor you know is so. this like um is this like you know that content you ever watch it on youtube that stuff where they like unpackage 
uh, presence and stuff. Called unboxing. Like, most unlikely oh. content you've ever seen, but it's going to get like millions of views. Is that, oh. that what's happening here? <laughs> okay, Granddad. Yeah. <laughs> is this like that unboxing thing that they do on the internet now? Yeah. <laughs> you good man. Incredible. I'm not sure you're going to get millions of views with this, Adrian, but uh, good job. You're uh, hacking away at yourself there. Is there any other uh, last hints and tips, Kieran, before we uh, wrap this up that people should do? Anything else? Yeah, right. what, I'd, what, what I'd always say is shave with the grain, which means shave like... Yeah, up or down. The, yeah, no, so whatever, everyone growth pattern is different so when you when you feel against the grain you can feel it's kind of rough but if you're going with the grain it's smoother so if you shave with the grain you're looking at reducing things like razor bumps and irritation and okay. ingrown hairs um with yeah. that as well i shave with longer strokes as well oh yeah um yeah that along oh, yeah. with uh yeah, just preparing your face beforehand. Um, the preparation is the main part of it. And then afterwards, splash of cold water and stay away from any alcohol-based rubs or aftershaves or anything. Right, so be Pretty kind, much. basically. Be, be kind. Yeah. And take the time. It's, it, it's, it's, it's not a race. Just just take the time to do it. You know, find, find the time in the day to do it because you can end up just pulling the face off yourself sometimes if you're rushing, you know. Kieran, where's where's your shop? Uh, Studio one forty five. Where is it? One one forty five on uh, Francis Street. Uh, 144, 145 Francis Street. So it's just off Thomas Street there. So we just opened up on the first of July, straight after lockdown. And yeah, good so, stuff. Well, we yeah. have we have Look one. Forward to getting back there now. We have one billiard ball uh, in Adrian Barry, but I suspect that um, somebody's pulled an old bait and switch on us here. Are you keeping? Are you are you being a rebellion? Is this is there a, a mustachioed rebellion happening here, Owen? Are you just shaving around for a reason? You look like you actually look like a Joker at the moment with your face. <laughs> yeah. I, I just heard Kieran saying that you need to take your time. When I was doing this at the start, absolutely sliced off my chin, so okay. I'll be taking my time. Okay. All right. Well, we've had great crack doing this over the last month or so. We have absolutely looked like fools at various stages, but in the end, all's well that ends well. Um, I'm turning mine into a pair of handlebars. Thanks to everybody who got in touch uh, with your own Moe's over the last month, and thanks to everybody as well who picked up your Gillette Movember kit in store at Tesco. We'll see you again in 11 months. If you didn't pick it up, it's not too late. Movember.com forward slash Gillette for that one. And my thanks to uh, Kieran. And best of luck today. I know it's a, a nervous day and a day full of excitement for people who are getting their businesses back open after a very difficult period. So uh, if you can support your... Uh, your local barber or whoever it is, those businesses really need your help at this stage and uh, they are the lifeblood of our economy. When you hear people say that, it is actually small businesses that we build the rest of our economy off the back of. So uh, congratulations on getting your business back open and congratulations to everybody involved in uh, Movember over the last month as well. We've, uh, as, as you can see, knocked a bit of crack out of it. So that's um, that part of the show. We're going to still bring you some top quality rugby analysis. Uh, the lads were not very happy with the performance that they saw from Ireland against Georgia. Brian O'Driscoll and Keith Wood cutting through a lot of the BS that you've been hearing over the last few days and getting right to the heart of the conversation. A reminder, of course, OTBM Live in association with Gillette. Good morning. Start with Gillette giving you the confidence to tackle the day ahead.